Welcome back. We are continuing our untold story segment today with a story that actually came out of a different story we did a few months ago about Casey Calvary's game winning shot for Gonzaga over Florida in the 1999 NCAA tournament. Gonzaga alum and Hollywood actor Eric Edelstein was able to experience that whole Gonzaga run for free and with a behind the scenes look. As a student, he was the team's TV play by play man, but that shouldn't have guaranteed him a spot to travel with the squad. So how did he finagle his way onto the plane and what was the experience like? He answers those questions here. They brought me along. So I was actually on the team charters in the Elite Eight. I had no business really being there. Coach View was just wonderful. And I remember we landed in Seattle and Dan Munson didn't know I was on the trip and he yelled at Coach View and he yelled at me. And he said, if I distracted the players, he'd never let me announce another game ever. And then Coach View's like, no, he's good for the players. And so thank you to Coach View and Munson, you were wrong about that and other stuff too. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, That's I'll just let it all out now, Fred. Yeah, so Munson, yelled at me, dressed me down in front of everybody at baggage claim before they're playing Minnesota. I mean, I think he thought I was going to go knock on doors and distract people. And then I had a media pass because I asked like Scott Lynn and other Portland officers, I'm like, do you want a free stringer? I'm on the road with Gonzaga. So I had a media pass and all the guys on the team would laugh because I would just walk everywhere and I had a media pass. Go media, media, leave me alone, media, media. I'm allowed to be here. Media, where are the free appetizers? Like, it was a gravy train for me, and I was holding the ladle to anybody that wanted to see it. <laughs> yeah. So basically, you got to experience the whole 1999 run uh, free of charge. Yeah, it, it was absolutely amazing. I'll never forget it. And it was like being there when the gold rush happened. And I remember the first trip, they didn't know Gonzaga. They didn't expect us to win a game. So we had the worst charter plane. And I'm not picky about airplanes, but I mean, literally, I was a scared flyer and I was nervous. And Mike Nielsen said, look, we're fine. He pulled down the armrest. It came off in his hand. The NC2A put us in this hotel that was under construction so far away. We checked in like, oh, you're the kids from Gonzales? They had no idea who we were, but we took over this hotel. And then after they won the game to go on the Sweet 16, everybody jumped in the hot tub together and live media was there and it just turned into this massive thing. And what I'll never forget is during the UConn game, Mike Roth came up to me at halftime and he said, hey, win or lose, we want you to MC a pep rally when we get back to campus because we're going to take the charter out right out. And I remember after we lost, I kind of looked at him and said, I'm assuming there's, there's not going to be a pep rally. He's like, no, be a pep rally. No, and I, I think you'll be surprised. And he just kind of smiled and gave me a look. We land the plane. I get chills now thinking about it. We just heard this thunderous noise and we walked out uh, onto the tarmac and the whole airport was full. Then we got in a, the bus surrounded by a police escort and got back to campus and it was filled. Thousands of people were there to bring the team back. And it's like, that's the magic of Spokane. That's the magic of Gonzaga and it's only built and gotten better. If you want to see the story we did about Casey Calvary's game winning shot, you can find that online now at creme.com. It of course includes Eric, Casey, Mike Nielsen, and Matt Santangelo all reliving the moment. That's it for sports.